Yeah, guys, so in this lesson, we want to apply this movement. Yeah, to our 6 in the key of F, and then to our 2 in the key of C, right? And then we apply it in gospel songs, a lot of gospel songs, because 6 and 2 is almost found in any gospel song, right? Yeah, so for today's lesson, we'll be in two keys. We'll be in the key of F, and then we'll be in the key of C using this same movement. Just that goes like it's a very simple movement that can replace your 736 or a 362. Okay? Yeah, so let's get started. My name is Limos Jr. and I welcome you to the Music Empire, the channel that spreads the gospel of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus through the talents he's given us. Okay? Be in the key of F for the start. Okay, so I first of all start by playing the five as a single note. Then I play my first chord. I first of all start by playing my five notes by itself. Then I play a minor seventh chord, in this case an E minor seventh chord. Right? And then from there I do a drop two movement. Okay, then from there I play a, I play a minor ninth chord so in this case to be the d minor ninth chord now remember we are in the key of f so it's like um a seven and then this part is kind of actually filling the three to the six and there you guys your six okay and i'll show you where you can apply it in gospel song as well yeah the the perfect atmosphere for you to be able to apply such a heavy movement you can see i didn't do it in this range where it would be like a something like that no it's in this region. This region is this region is naturally heavier, right? Yeah, you can even tell from the sound that this region is naturally heavier than here. I didn't do. Yeah, so I will show you where the perfect atmosphere to apply such a movement. Now let's break down the movement itself. So we have the five notes to the minor sevens. Now look at what I have. So I have the seven and six my left hand right and on my right hand I have the two flat five seven now I don't just get up and play the two flat five and the seven but I do a grace note from the G which is your three to the flat five now if, it's, if it is difficult for you you can just do so just focus on your B flat down to the B okay you can even use your index finger to do that so so we have See, it's, it's easy, but if you can do it from the G down to the B, sorry, yeah, from the A to the B, it will give you that rich, rolling, grace note sound. Okay, so, so we have. Then I'll do, I'll, 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 I'll spell out um, the note in the middle. So I'll start from the D itself, the six, with my thumb, right? So like. Okay. So we have. Okay, I, I suppose it's very easy, right? D. Yeah. So the moment I do, I'll take the D up to the C sharp and then the B to the B flat. So, right? So, like. So that's the movement we have, but we are playing it inside the chord itself. So, so we have, um, um, yeah. Then you play your six, which is so on the six on my left, I have the five, six, seven. Then to the six bass note, and now I, I love hitting this note hard because it gives you that heavy feel like. This has its own vibe by including this one. And look at look at how I'm playing the five, six, and the seven. I do five, six, six, seven. So like, but it's very fast. Okay, so we have yeah over so this over an F major seventh chord. So I have the one, three, five, and then the seven. Yeah, we know an F major seventh chord. 
Yeah. Uh, so far, if what I have been mentioning, like the minor servant, minor ninth, major servant court, if these court classes confuse you a lot and you want to really know them and understand how I'm able to apply it, how I'm forming an F major servant over a D, so that it will become a D minor ninth court and all that, do well to visit our website, musicempire.com. There are lots of wonderful courses over there and get an access to a wonderful course ranging from Ghanaian worship to Ghanaian praise and high life to young concert to contemporary gospel course. Yeah, I think this lesson in particular will fall under the category of the contemporary gospel course. So it is just like an extension of what has been done in the course. So do want to visit our website, musicempire.com. The link is down in the description below, okay? Just in the description below. If you click on the link, it will take you straight to our website. If you have any questions and inquiries, our numbers and email and everything is on our website. Just feel free to contact us anytime, okay? Thank you, let's continue. So now that so now that we have learned the movement, how then do we apply it? Okay, so let's see. Yeah, oh be lifted. Like in this morning, this song, oh be lifted, was really ministering to me a lot. I think that song was done in the key of B flat, right? But we'll do it. In, we'll do it in the key of F. But whatever the case is, it's the application that matters, not the song, whether you know the song or not. Okay, so the song actually goes like this, the simple way. Yeah, at least that's a progression. Whether you know the song or not, that's a progression of the song. So I did the melody on my right hand, so like. Oh, be lifted then. So there's a six over there, right? Then you have a two to the five, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the six, that's our target because the progression I've did this one to the six, right? So. We can go like um you see i was able to fix it into the above all undergrounds right so let's go again Yeah, it works over there, and a song like um, okay, so a song like um, yeah, I will worship you forever, uh, love you forever, by my tenebas, right? So there's a six over there, so let, let's see seven. Six, there's a six there. Let's see if we can apply it here or not. So, you see, let's go again. we applied it there very nice right good so um if we go to the key of c do you know that this same progression this same movement we are not changing anything it will be a two the interpretation will just be a two in the key of c which means that we can just do this uh, as a two in the key of c right so just picture any song and that has a two inside <coughs> and try to apply it over there okay for example let's say like uh, holy you are holy right then we have So 
there was a two there. There's a two, a, a two coming soon. Here's a two, right? Yeah, here's a two. So it means we can apply it there. So let's see. So, so, um, then, let's apply it there. So let's go. again yeah we can apply it there again okay uh, is it a song like what we just used earlier the Nathaniel Abbasi song for instance there's a two inside there are Uh, then the pattern goes like there's a two right so there's a two in that part um, he, na, 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 na. I, 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 I've forgotten the lyrics. So let's go. Um, this is the verse. So, uh, we can apply it there, and then, um, okay, let's pick a local song, Danasi. It's like Danasi, it's almost being used anytime. Right, so um, then we have a two, right? So let's go. Guys, I know I'm, 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 I know I'm trying to go overboard here, but the most important thing is that this movement can be applied on the two, and it can be applied on the six. Okay, so in the key of F, the same chords, right? It's on the six. When we come to the key of C, the same movement is on the two. Now, do you know this is something? This is an assignment I'm coming to give you before I end. Sometimes I like giving assignments. Do you know uh, uh, this same progression can be like a seven, the key of E flat, right? Uh, yeah, try and then apply the same movement in other keys. That's one excellent way of expanding your your understanding concerning chord applications. Okay, so. God richly bless you and let's meet in our next lesson. Have fun with this lesson. Let's meet in our next lesson.